my brothers and sisters, you know, I'm just saying this because it doesn't make any sense that we do not have a common sense that God gave us. God gave us his own right to be his children. God gave us his own right to be his own choosing children. Citizens of heaven. Look at even on the world today, wherever you think is a better place in the world, you know, any country, any of these Western countries, everybody's rushing to those areas. And those places you're rushing to, you think is the best, it's not even the best. These are places where people don't even worship God anymore, you know. And then whatever you have, God has put you in that situation. You can become a millionaire if you want to. All you need to do is determination. Just determination. Just little simple skills can put you up. You don't need to do bad things to keep a job. You don't need to do bad things to to become comfortable in life. You don't need to do bad things to become um, known, recognized. Is there anybody more popular than Samuel in the Bible? Or Samson? Or David? Is there anybody more popular than all the kings of Israel? Who made them popular? By the way, you don't even need popularity because heaven is your goal. As long as you have come into the world, you are going to live forever. Ever in hell, ever in heaven. Okay? You see, the world is coming to an end because today people are not doing, people are just, you know, doing whatever they want to do. They don't care about God who owns the earth. They don't care about the feelings of God. How does he feel about what you're doing? That God doesn't want you to hurt any human being. He doesn't want you to hurt a person. And they all, everybody are on a rampage to destroy their fellow human being. It's terrible. No common sense. Simple common sense we don't have. All we know is how to destroy our fellow human being. You want to have money, you want to be popular, you want to kill people, you want to shed blood, you want to keep a job, you want to shed blood, whatever you want to do, you think you're going to shed blood to do it. And then let me tell you, when you shed blood, you're finished. I'm telling you, once you shed blood, you have shed your own blood. Whenever you shed somebody else's blood, you have shed your own blood. This is one thing people don't know. If you shed blood, you have shed the blood of your own self. I'm telling you, this is serious. Serious. God doesn't want us to eat animal uh, um, beef, you know, meat. He doesn't want you to eat it with the blood. He wants you to cut the, 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 the animal and drain the blood and bury it in the ground and cook it real good before you can eat it. He doesn't want you to eat anything with the blood. And then, you you know, people, oh, see, let me tell you. You have to do what the enemies are not doing. The enemies of God are the enemies of man. The enemies of God are the enemies of the earth. Once these enemies are destroyed, the earth, the earth will come to an end. Turn to God Almighty and forget about evil, wickedness. Wickedness will pay nothing. It will just bring you to the end of your life. Wickedness, if, if you continue to do wicked, God will not protect you. Who is the protector? He's God Almighty. He's a protector. No man, no woman can protect you. No power, no principality. It's only God who made heaven and earth. That's it. Amen, bless. In Jesus' name.